The Mazda 3 and Honda Civic have always been top car choices for people looking for reliable and practical cars. The reason they are both top choices is because they're very similar. But the main question is, which car do we think you should go for? Find out by watching this video. If you happen to be looking for a compact hatchback or sedan, there are many great options like the Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic. The Mazda 3 is said to be one of the best compact vehicles, and it stands out because of its elegance, sportiness, and attention to detail. First, let's start off with the exterior. The Civic's new exterior design has been getting mixed reviews so far, but we're certainly on board with it. You can see the underlying Acura NSX DNA in the Civic's headlights and the bar that runs across the grille between the headlights. The muscular lines on the outside edges of the hood, which complement the flared fenders, and the sizable cutouts in each corner of the fascia, which appear to channel air to the brakes but are blocked off and act as mounting points for the circular fog lights, are what give the Civic its aggressive appearance. This little air dam also has the same mesh pattern as the corner inserts, which unify the entire front end. Instead of trying to impress you with artificial corner air intakes or angular muscular features, the Mazda 3 adopts a different strategy. Instead, it features the newest grille design from Mazda, which is both low and obtrusive. It, together with the hood, contributes to the Mazda 3's seeming length, which the Civic just cannot match. Both cars feature stylish headlights, but most people would agree that the Honda has the better headlight design. The fog lights are recessed into the fascia to the sides, where there is a small, useful air dam below the grille that adds some elegance. The new Mazda 3's headlights, with their perfectly matched lens configuration and grille surround, are unquestionable as having the proper aesthetic. In terms of performance, a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine with about 158 horsepower and a turbocharged 1.5-liter 4-cylinder engine with 180 horsepower is available as power plant options for the base 2023 Honda Civic model. From that 180 horsepower, you'll reach 60 miles per hour in about 7.5 seconds, which isn't great, but it's fast enough for everyday drivers. The 1.5-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine in the sporty Civic Si also comes in another version with 200 horsepower, bringing the 0 to 60 time down to a more intriguing 6.6 seconds. The Civic Type R hot hatch has significantly more performance than a standard Civic model. Behind it, you'll find a turbocharged 2-liter four-cylinder powered by 315 horses, which pushes this front-wheel drive beast from 0 to 60 in just 5.3 seconds, or about three-tenths faster than the previous generation. The 2023 Mazda 3 has two engine choices. The 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine at the bottom of the range makes 191 horsepower, which will get you to 60 miles per hour in a reasonable 7.5 seconds, while the 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with a turbocharger makes up to 250 horsepower and can hit 60 in well under 6 seconds. Even though the all-new 2023 Mazda 3 has a higher base engine output, the Civic Type R has a higher maximum horsepower output. The Mazda 3 offers an optional all-wheel drive system, unlike the Honda Civic. Now, regarding gas average, the most fuel-efficient Mazda 3 model is the sedan with the base 2.5-liter four-cylinder. It earned ratings from the EPA of 28 mpg in the city as well as 37 mpg on the highway. Now, the turbocharged hatchback model with all-wheel drive is the least fuel efficient, along with ratings of 23 mpg in the city and around 31 mpg on the highway. Car experts have tested an all-wheel drive automatic equipped sedan with the non-turbo 2.5 liter on its 75 mile per hour highway gas mileage route, giving an outstanding 41 miles per gallon. Also, according to the EPA, the most fuel-efficient version of the new Honda Civic is the mid-range EX, which gets ratings of 33 mpg city, 42 mpg highway, and 36 mpg combined. On its 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy route, the Civic Sport hatchback delivered 36 mpg. So when it comes to gas mileage average, the all-new 2023 Honda Civic takes the win here. Now let's compare the interiors of the two cars. Mazda has thoughtfully equipped the 3's cabin with premium materials. Buyers can add many desired amenities to either body design, but the greatest ones are tied to the trim level hierarchy. For instance, the top trims are the only ones that include a heads-up display, heated front seats, and leather upholstery. 
Even so, both the Mazda 3 sedans and hatchbacks have decent seats for the passengers. Yet among compact hatchbacks, the two-box model has the lowest rear visibility because of its curved form, which prioritizes curves over sight lines. In comparison, there is sufficient interior cubby storage, and buyers looking for the greatest cargo room should choose the sedan, which could fit six carry-on bags in the trunk instead of the hatchback's five. With the back seat folded, each could fit 16 bags a streamlined dashboard with a full-width honeycomb pattern mesh design element that cleverly hides the air vents highlights the redesigned 2023 Civic's interior design. A spacious center console with a huge, deep bin in front of the shift lever for storing smartphones, keys, and road trip food is less crowded than the one in the outgoing model. According to the automaker, the passenger space is about the same and the cargo area is bigger. Now, when it comes to tech features, the 2023 Honda Civic has a 7-inch touchscreen infotainment display as standard equipment, although a bigger 9-inch one and a 10.2-inch digital gauge display are also available. When combined with the bigger screen, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard and provide wireless communication. A few additional options include in-dash navigation, Bose audio, and a wireless smartphone charging pad. In contrast, the 8.8-inch infotainment display that comes standard on the 2023 Mazda 3 seems larger than it actually is, thanks to a finely made bezel that floats between two dash pads resembling pillows. The technology is simple to use and only needs a rotary knob positioned on the console. Also, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability are standard, but a 12-speaker Bose stereo system and Sirius XM satellite radio cost extra. The interior space of the 2023 Civic is slightly bigger when compared to the 2023 Mazda 3. The Civic sedan and the Civic hatchback both offer 99 cubic feet of passenger space as opposed to 92.8 cubic feet and 92.7 cubic feet for the Mazda 3 sedan and Mazda 3 hatchback. The Civic sedan has a storage capacity of 14.8 cubic feet in the sedan version's trunks, compared to the Mazda 3 sedan's 13.2 cubic feet. The Civic hatchback has a maximum load capacity of 24.5 cubic feet for hatchback variants, compared to 20.1 cubic feet for the 2023 Mazda 3 hatchback. With a 3-year or 36,000-mile basic warranty and a 5-year or 60,000-mile powertrain warranty, the Civic and Mazda 3 both enjoy comparable warranty protection. But the Civic offers a free maintenance program with 2 years or around 24,000 miles of coverage when compared to the new Mazda 3. The Civic is much more dependable than the Mazda 3. It received an 82 out of 100 on the JD Power reliability rating, as compared to the Mazda 3's 77 out of 100. The big question right now is which compact car is more expensive for 2023, the Mazda 3 or the Civic? The Mazda 3's price starts at $23,550 for the 2.5S sedan trim and goes as high as $35,300 for the 2.5 Turbo Premium Plus hatchback variant. So what's the verdict? Is getting a Mazda 3 better or a Honda Civic? Well, the 2023 Mazda 3 comes out on top in our comparison of the 2023 Honda Civic versus the 2023 Mazda 3. The 2023 Mazda 3, when compared, has advantages in terms of base engine horsepower and a choice of all-wheel drive. This contains benefits for maximum horsepower production, fuel economy, passenger and cargo room, a free maintenance plan, and dependability. If you're trying to decide which one to buy or have already bought one of them, then rest assured in knowing that both are a great choice. But there is a third option. Click the video on your screen now to learn more about the best-selling car of all time, the Toyota Corolla.